Okay, I'm sitting here on a really nice Sunday afternoon in Dallas, Texas with someone you may not be too familiar with now, but I can guarantee you in the coming months you will be. Layla Jenner, uh, uh, one of the fresh faces in the industry right now, has just shot her first couple of scenes. She's with Motley Models and is, I, I think is really going to take the industry by storm here uh, in the coming months. Layla, first of all, for people that, that aren't familiar with you, tell, tell us a little bit about yourself, your um, background. 19, originally from Kansas, come from Texas from college, graduated college and high school that grew up on an army base in Kansas, is yep. that right? Yep. Yeah. What was that what was that like? What was life like for strict. you as a very strict. How so? <laughs> um just not a lot of freedom, very micromanaged. Um yeah, a lot of strictness, not a lot of fun. Early bedtimes, not a lot of bedtime, no social media, not a lot of friends, no hangouts, right. etc. Right. So you shared with me earlier that by uh, age 15, I believe you had moved to Lubbock, Texas, and we're yes. and we're living on your own. By age 16, you had moved yeah. out of the, the house uh, from your from your uh, father and, and stepmother, and, yes. and, and we're and we're. It, it was a yeah. good thing. It was all good. It was a very good situation. I did get kicked out, but. Um, it wasn't obviously it wasn't good at first, but mm -hmm. it, I'm very thankful for it. It made me so much better to get away from them. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I've been independent since about 16. You know, a lot of people when they when they become independent at that age, they can go one of two ways. They can, yeah, can you know kind of flounder and, and and go downhill or, or really you know yes, develop thankfully. a work ethic. And you you developed quite a work ethic. Tell yes. tell us what those next few years were like. Um, <clears throat> yes, thankfully I had a friend who was about two or three miles away from me when I got kicked out. I walked to her house. Her father and her were CNAs for a travel agency and CNAs, they yeah. got me into it. So I had a nursing assistant in hospitals and nursing homes and I fell in love with it, fell in love with the medical, everything medical, got me into science. That's I went to college for a science degree and I loved it. Yeah, it was awesome. Worked as a CNA up until my senior year which is eventually how I started my OnlyFans because 12 hour shifts and senior year of college don't mix well. Mm -hmm. But side hustle OnlyFans does, so. Yeah, it's just amazing to think that you got a high school degree uh, at by age 16 and then at by 19 you had graduated from a really uh, yes. prestigious awesome. uh, four year college. Uh, tell us a little bit more about you know OnlyFans and once you, once you started down that route, what you liked about it. Um, I really liked just I got into it from a friend. Um, I have a friend who kind of blew up. He's this gay guy, really blew up on Twitter, etc. Mm -hmm. And he got me into it on through Reddit, like and posting on Reddit and stuff. And I honestly really enjoyed it. I thought it was really easy. You just post on my little Reddit subs once a day. And I really liked how fast it was growing at the time. And yeah, just it was really easy money. I only did it just enough for rent and a little bit extra. And then I didn't do it for the rest of the month. Right. And I would just do that month to month until I graduated. All right. So, so two or three months ago, back in April, I guess, right before you get your college degree, you start thinking, hey, I may want to make the jump into the yes. actual adult industry. You reach out to Motley Models. Mm -hmm. What happens after that? They contacted me. Um, I researched a few of them, um, put them together. And I was looking at reviews. Obviously, everyone has their own reviews, but the ones of Motley were all from not really reputable people. Mm -hmm. So I ended up deciding on them. And as soon as I met Dave, he was just a great guy. He's very professional on the phone and in person, and I really enjoyed that. And yeah, yeah. soon got into it. And you shot your first scenes, I believe, a day or two after getting your degree. Yes. That you've already worked with some pretty big names. Yeah. Uh, tell, tell us about the three uh, male performers you've, you've worked with and what that was like. Uh, I worked with Tyler Nixon, Isaiah Maxwell, and Jules Jordan. They are wow. all very lovely people, very respectful, very kind, mm -hmm. very like, are you okay? Like, just awesome, well rounded people. They're super sweet. Um, I think. I really think Isaiah Maxwell is like the nicest out of I, even in like real life. Like I've never met someone so like just mm -hmm. such a kind person. And he's so chill and like yeah, he's super sweet. He was great. Absolutely. Why do you think you'll you'll be a good fit for this industry? Um, I'm very. I really like reaching goals, and mm -hmm. I like getting things done. I like getting bigger. I like constantly doing something to improve. 
Mm-hmm. And I think having that mindset in an industry like this is just something you can go far with. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, I think one thing people will, will like about you is, um, especially fans of people that are fans of you know the whole no tattoo look very natural uh physique and everything what's what's your i guess mindset when it comes to yeah i will never get a tattoo in my entire life it's funny because my one of my best friends she's a tattoo fanatic and Mm -hmm. she's like my whole life she's been like please let me give you a tattoo and i've always been like you know like you're never going to convince me for a million dollars you want to convince me i Mm -hmm. always I love how people have their own ideas on yeah. tattoos, but personally, I hate the way tattoos look on women. Like, I don't like them. I also have been someone like, I had gotten a henna tattoo at one point. It's mm-hmm. like those temporary, like, little, like, yeah. vacation tats. Right. Um, and I, like, just couldn't stop looking at it. And I remember, like, scratching it off because I couldn't yeah. stand something being on my skin that I couldn't get off of me. Yeah, right. And ever since then, I was like, I could never get a tattoo. Like, something being on my skin that I can't just take off, like, just, like, yeah. ugh, freaks me out to a whole other level. Right. To, obviously, to flourish in this industry, too, I mean, you have to, you can tell the performers that really do enjoy the actual yes, sex. I yes. mean, would you describe yourself as a pretty sexual I person? Or? I I would say so. And I see, I see and feel sex is a whole different thing. Like performing and sex just is a whole different vibe, and I really enjoy it. Like I love, like obviously the sex is amazing, but like performing with someone who like has the same goals in mind mm-hmm. and wants something like, like it's more so the process of creating something that people are gonna enjoy mm-hmm. that I really, really like the idea of, and I think that's how performers also feel. And just like we're trying to create the best content we can so yeah. i just i really like that i like creating it and then seeing it you know it's awesome yeah and, and you said you're going to keep an open mind too in terms of types of scenes i mean oh, no yeah. rush but anal could be oh yeah in your future course. definitely will be yeah, yeah yeah okay well layla really enjoyed visiting with you today and, and so excited for all that's ahead for you but uh okay. let's check let's check back in uh, ever, ever so often okay awesome thank, thank you so you. much all right.